Good morning, everybody, and welcome into the gardens. This is the uh, 19th of July, I believe. And, uh, yeah, time for another Sunday cruise around. We're going to take a look at the gnome garden first and uh, show you some of the changes that I've made in there. Take a look at just how crazy these tomatoes have gotten. And, uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Just did some trimming and some pruning and some weeding in there. Finally got that red solo cup out. So elderberries are taking up quite nicely. Very much impressed with how well some of these beets are doing since they've been uh, replanted into the gnome garden. That one there has got some good size to it. These poor uh, red Thai peppers. They're just not getting a whole lot of sunlight over here between the indigo rose tomato and that volunteer tomato. But you'll notice this one here is finally starting to get some flower starts on it. So that's good. Taking a look at the other side of the gnome garden. This one beet that's going to seed is doing a fantastic job of that. Starting to get some clusters on there that... Again, I've got nothing to go on but my uh, Swiss chart experience. But I'm going to say uh, that looks like the beginning of seeds for me. Over in the back behind the carrots we've got one of those mini bells starting to produce fruit for me. Very curious to see what color those are going to end up being. That indigo rose there is doing just fantastic. Just absolutely in love with these tomatoes. Totally recommend giving them a try. Both tasting and growing. We've got one of those freak peppers here. Doing just, again, phenomenally well. There's been a lot of watering to keep things going in the soil these last couple of weeks with all the heat that we've had, but as long as you stay on top of it, right? It's Golden Cal Wonders in the 2x4 collection. Starting to produce some fruit for me, but they all seem to be getting attacked by something that then walks away. So I guess that one's headed to the compost. It's too bad that was looking to be uh, nice fruit there. Ah, that's life in it. This one here looks like it's been nibbled on a bit as well up in the corner there. Definitely time to cut things down in the back there make it a little harder for things to get on through. Love these two specimens of the freaks. The one up, the one down, both just very, very productive. Deliciously hot peppers. And so colorful, right? Taking a look inside the orange habanero pepper plant here. Seem to be quite a few peppers forming on there. None of them changing color yet, but definitely quite a few of them in there. Excellent. Then here we have the two lemon hot peppers that are in the 2x4 collection, as it were. This one's definitely got some issues. Not quite as vibrant and green as its neighbor, but they've both got lots of fruit forming on there for me. It's going to be fabulous when they start to change to yellow. All these different colors of peppers, I love it. You'll see in a minute, the ones in the front are definitely uh, putting on more peppers faster. It's that tote full of peppers I picked up with a Canadian Tire the other day. A little bit of color going on in there. Got some Tabascos forming from the looks of things here on the left. So that's good. Yeah, pretty sure I'll get my money's worth out of that. This would be the uh, Golden Cal Wonders that we picked up from the Big W. As you can see, got some nice peppers forming on it there. That one in the middle seems to be nice and ripe. Some variety of stuffed pepper tonight, perhaps. Hmm. Is that volunteer squash? Still not showing me any signs of what it's going to try and produce, but it's pretty happy, that's for sure. Here's that tangerine dream pepper. Finally starting to look a little bit more like a real pepper plant, but 
Still no signs of fruit, so I have no idea what those are going to look like. It's all a surprise, you know. There's the backyard red demon pepper doing quite well. Still not taking on any color there, but lots of fruit. And this whole mess here is those three banana peppers. Let's see if I can get under it without too much glare. Very, very impressed with how well they're doing. These have been quite delicious so far. Although those pickled peppers ended up way too salty for my tastes. Still got to figure out uh, something new to do with those. And then scanning along this back bit of garden here. Just letting the mouse melons grow into the jalapenos there. They seem quite happy to be doing that. This uh, poblano pepper here, finding these very interesting. Can't wait to try one. Smoky sweet, says the package. Just checking them out in the store, they don't seem to change color, so I guess in theory I could try one soon. Not quite sure how to tell it when it's ripe if it doesn't change color. They all feel pretty good to me though. Again, some sort of stuffed pepper perhaps. Another happy pollinator hard at work. Oh, two of them. Excellent. Don't forget to visit the pepper flowers while you're in town, guys. So here is one of those uh, burpy lemon yellow hot peppers from out front. And while they're just as hard to spot on here, there are definitely a lot more peppers on this plant. Getting that extra three or four hours of sunshine a day seems to really make a difference for this variety. It's definitely going to be great when these things start changing color. Much easier to see. Right now the fresh peppers blend in with the leaf coloring so well, but... They're in there. So those two red chili peppers that I planted in Shox's old worm bin seem to have settled in quite well and have uh, started producing massive numbers of little flower starts. These things are going to be just loaded with peppers. That's very exciting. Should keep me in pepper powder for a while, I should think. Ah, so here is the... Uh, Chichimeca, Chichimeca pepper, still don't know, that I need to put in the shrine because the other one turned out to be a super chili. I'm going to take a much closer look at that in another video probably in the next couple of days. Here's that Kung Pao up front that I already harvested that half pound of peppers from. It's doing a fantastic job of putting out the next set for me. You gotta love plants that just uh, are encouraged to produce more when you start harvesting. Uh, speaking of, how's that look? Isn't that awesome? Went to the farmer's market yesterday. Buddy's selling these uh, indigo rose tomatoes. Four dollars a pound. All day, apparently. Quite popular. So, that is fantastic. Ooh. Ripe one. Delicious. Well, that'll be gone by lunchtime. Now this front yard red demon still hasn't been transplanted, even though it's still sitting in that larger air pot. But uh, look at all of those fruit. That is intense. I can't wait to taste one of these. Still haven't tasted one. Just like that orange fugo, still haven't tasted that either. But I'll be getting that taken care of shortly. Again, another one of those things coming up in the very near future. Speaking of the near future. Alright, so over the next couple of months I'm going to be making some changes to uh, all of the channels really. Just trying to streamline things and get things a little bit more professional. Got a lot of changes I want to make to the greenhouse and uh, things just kind of of that nature that are going to be going on. So the videos are going to be somewhat sporadic. I'm still going to try and get my Sundays up on time, but I'm not making any guarantees. And on that note, the end of August, um, my daughter's going to be up for two weeks, so I wouldn't expect much out of my channel from pretty much the 12th to the 26th. Um, let me see, let me see. Yeah, 
that's that's pretty much it for this week. It's going to be lots of little videos coming out. I'm going to be doing um, individual pepper videos because I've noticed a lot of the things that are in the shrine you can't really find a lot of information about that specific variety. So just quick little videos, tasting it, showing it, demonstrating it, any of the differences with this plant or standard peppers, yada yada yada. Um, yeah, if you're interested in peppers, check it out, right? So yeah, that's coming up this week, and I am going to let you go. Have a fantastic week ahead, everybody. I will see you guys next time.